Hey everyone, welcome back to the Messiah Chronicles. Just notice that we're on 6 Piety again, which means we can make an attempt on Saint Roka. Before we leave, let's just do a quick check of pole arms. Anything on this floor? No. A plain glaive? No. So let's head back over to Elf. And level 2 is where we set up our base. Something is hitting me. Let's see, Embers. A Shadow Wraith. Unfortunately, your orcs aren't very useful in an invisible scenario because none of them see invis. To Elf. And let's see. Is it this stair? No. Well, we can go down that stair. I need to take my zombie sword off before I forget. Tell them to stay here. And let's see if we can't get St. Roko. It's wandering around somewhere. Oh, there he was. I'm gonna yell. Come on. St. Roko. There you are. Come on, let's take you up to <laughs> what is quite a welcoming party. <sighs> Do I keep hitting him? I think I leave him. Same reasons I explained before, I do more damage than these little random orcs smiting or poking him. So, gives more of a chance of Converting him. Uh, he died. Corpse, please. No corpse. Never lucky. Never lucky. Oh well. Not this time. Let's recall some. We got Warlord and these two guys. That's fine. We don't have our waifu, but we'll live this one time. Let's see how Enchant Spudish is. Plus zero. Not that exciting. I was kind of thinking about what I was going to give Roka, but now we'll never know. Oh. Hmm. So there's a Banisher. While we have a line of sight block, we'll smite him. Still a line of sight blocked? Okay. Mm. There we go. These guys can do a lot of damage, so you don't want everyone to get crystal speared. There's a all these artifact weapons like this that we find, like this great sword we're gonna ID. Plus three slice RM, no, not so exciting because they could be something that we really want to give to our orcs. Mm, this full layout makes it kind of harder to kill whole stuff. What I might do is if I can, I'll separate the unnamed one on his own. How will I do that? I'll tell everyone to retreat this way and then I'll try to kind of block him. It's not working. It's too clever. Okay, now I'll tell him to run the other way. He's still too clever. <laughs> Trick this way. No. Down. Okay. Now he's the first away. What if I say follow me? Maybe I can pull the other two up. I think I did. So I'll tell him to wait. And no, I guess he came up. Oh well. Um, nope. Uh, stop. So I have him, but I also have some others. 
Because what, what I'd like to do is I'd like to make a kill hole down the bottom here. And it's much easier to abuse a kill hole with just one orc rather than having four or five orcs trying to fit in the kill hole with you. Hmm. Okay. We we're playing our um BO I want to find some particular orcs minigame. Let's go again. No. Oh. Oh, okay. So it turns out I can hit the macro again for recall, of course, because it's the same ability. Today I learned. So I can stop it and recall with the same macro. Wow. Wow. Run that way. He's with me. Um, how's that help though? I don't know. I can do that. Problem is, what if I now treat them this way? He's still, he's too fast. Um, now I'll go follow. Yes, I think I've done it. Stay here. Did I get him? No, what? Uh, he came up. Uh, last go, and then we give up. Stop. Okay. I'm gonna go like this. Mm. Run this way. One more tile. One more. Okay, I think we definitely got him this time. Follow. Stay. We did it. Thank God. <laughs> Alright, BO mini games. It's like an added bonus. You get to play crawl and you also get to play orc juggling. It's like kind of a. What do you do with the sheepdog? It's called herding, isn't it? Like in uh, Babe, the pig movie, they herd sheep. It's kind of like that. You're kind of hoarding orcs. So we have a banisher here. Well, we're currently line of sight blocked, so our warlord is blocking us, and while he's doing that, we'll smite the demonologist. Do we... Um, he's dying. Get back, bro. That's better. Now, follow me. Can retreat him, not because this situation is necessarily dangerous, but because I don't know what else is in the fog over here, so I don't want to charge him. And getting my own dude lightning bolted. We are confused. 15 curing, we'll just quaff out of that. Sprike. Is that his name? Sprike. Sprock. I like Sprike. You could be Sprike. Alright, Sprike. Take a. What have you got? You've got a dire flail and a plate armor. You can have. Well, I don't want to give you the body of distortion. You can have the demon trident. Hooray! Alright, Sprick. I'll step behind you so I don't get banished. And then I'll smite. Yay! Excellent. We've got a new wand of acid, which we don't really need, so I'll turn that off in backslash. If I can find it, apparently I can't read. Acid, acid, A for acid. Reading is hard sometimes. Uh, a banisher, step behind Sprake. 
and smite. This is how we're dealing. Oh, another one. So we're stepping behind a zombie. This is how we're dealing with our banishers, with our lack of MR. There's a an artifact spear. I'm gonna ID that. Plus two, it's pierce and MR. That's not very exciting. We'll drop that for now, will we? Yeah, we'll drop that. It's pretty plus two spear is pretty meh. And your orcs don't need MR. Doesn't do anything for them really. Keep exploring. We have a, a brass ring, let's try that one. Protection from fire. We don't need that, we already have two. Except we dropped our ID scroll. Drop protection from fire. Put on protection from cold. There we go. Another banisher. Same strategy. Step behind this stuff and then smite. And that way we won't get a bist. Come on, Sprick. Uh, this time I was a bit far away, so he had a turn or two to get me if he wanted to. But we can get banished. Not this time. That is just a scimitar. What's going on? Nothing. A vampiric glaive. That's a good orc weapon. Same deal. We get behind something. Smite. Vampiric glaive is a very good orc weapon. A plus four vampiric glaive. Very, very good orc weapon. God, that guy's so annoying. That is a glaive of venom. We'll pick up that too. That's another good orc weapon. We are confused. No, we're not. And Sprake is kind of living dangerously by charging away like that. You shut the door and then follow me. Go. We have only two ID scrolls. So let's find out. I'm going to take off my large shield. I'm going to see how big this glaive of venom is. Plus three. Okay. Very good. So we've got some good orc weapons. The next bunch we have a glaive of venom and a vampiric glaive. Both very good weapons. And then once we get a brown weapon, I'll rebrand the distortion by dish. The thing is that, so I have a demon blade of draining, which isn't the greatest brand of all time, but it's not really that bad either. It's, it's fine. It doesn't work on undead, so liches and things like that, but on anything living, it works fine. It's good also against the Orc Guardians in Zot. It's fine against Draconians. It's just on Orbs of Fire and... Ancient Liches and stuff, it won't do anything, but that's okay. Because again, even in Zot 5, a lot of our DPS will come from our Warlords. As long as we can stay alive, that's the main thing. Eat some bread. Ooh, I'm lagging a lot. Um, okay, he is coming. Two of them didn't see us, but I think the demonologist did. Got him. <laughs> okay. The elementalist is just blowing through the wall. <laughs> uh, Sprake is in a lot of trouble. I think he's gonna die actually. No. Retreat, dude. Get away. Okay. And that can help me. Good job. Nice retreating. Um, I'll step behind the zombie, although, there we go, that's better. Got him. Or Sprite got him. 
be carrying anything. Just another ring. Let's try that one. Wizardry. Oops. Keep chopping the wrong thing. Chop wizardry. Put on protection from cold. There we go. Um, item management is hard. <laughs> Not really. Okay. Shift X and Control E is to get rid of all my auto exclusions. I feel like a lot of the L's have already been pulled out, but all the same, I'm gonna dig the kill hole. I wonder if this integration only has three. We only have a single recharging. All right, we'll just use digging because. With the standard kill hole, you just dig one spot to stand in, but that obviously won't work with Sproik. So we'd have to do at least two. Which means, uh, because then we're going to hit the rock wall anyway, if I just use digging this way, ha, huh, I did two that way. Because ideally how it works is we stand in our kill hole like this, and then we both can attack. It's quite cheeky. Let's see if we can yell anything out. But as I... Oh, Vanisher. As I was saying before, I think we already have killed a lot of them. It seemed like we found a lot of dangerous elves just wandering around. Anyone? 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 Okay, so there are a whole bunch of plain daggers and short swords. This is some amazing elf loot. Mmm, more daggers. Wow, plain rapier. Some stones. What is going on? There's a manual. There's a new disintegration wand. Let's check this one out. Six. Well, it's better than our three. Um, I'll drop the three and I'll just carry around the six. Six should be more than enough. Manual of maces and flails. Meh. Can't complain too much. We had a, a manual of fighting earlier. Eat that beef jerky. This is, unless there's a whole bunch of amazing stuff in this little room here, this has been the worst elf loot I've ever seen. Uh, fiend, you need to die ASAP. Smite, good ability. What is this elf? Manual shields, that's good. But I was really hoping I could find some sort of MR something. A ring or an amulet. No, I'm not carrying anything around. Wow, what a disappointing elf. We've got a manual shields. I think I'm going to focus shields while I have a plus 5 aptitude with the manual. Okay, that was sad. I guess we're going back to vaults. So, I think I've won about seven or eight video games in my career as a professional crawl player. <laughs> and the only time I've ever died with BO is when I went down to Vaults 5, I got paralyzed on the stair by Sphinx, I think, and I got paralyzed from 100% HP to completely dead. So I'd like to not repeat that if I could. I'd really like to find some sort of MR before we do Vaults 5 at least. And that's a little bit of a spoiler, but we will be doing Vaults 5. On, you'll see when I do it, but as a beer follower, Vaults 5 should always be your third room. But anyway, before we get there, we've got to do vaults 1 to 4 in depths. So let's go back to vaults. We're up to vaults 1, I think. 
as in we're about to go down to Vorts 2. Are we here? We're here. Alright. So we want to go... We want to get some orcs to come with us. These ones are all named. Um, how are we going to grab some? You know what I might do? No. I'm going to tell these ones to retreat. And then my next slot. If we stop now. So we've got, hmm, no, I'm going to keep going, I'll tell these ones to retreat too, and then I'll recall, they're all good too, you guys, retreat, I kind of want to get to some random orc knights, retreat, is it just recalling the same ones over and over again, no it's not, okay, so we, we'll stop it there, we got, we have three orc warriors with us, and there's a caravan. Okay, this is good. So the sorcerer or whatever, but the three orc warriors are good to train up. And potentially can be warlords as well. How much gold do we have? 1200. So we want to find that bazaar. We will read a magic mapping. And then, where is it? This one. Is there a stair near that? No. No. Not really. So we can go from this one. Extra 27 gold, that might come in handy. And now 21. Putting my minimap reading skills to their maximum test here. Ah, uh, Boris. Boris is really dangerous. First of all, we want to see him. And then. He's red, you can see on the side, and I see I have my mouse on the screen, sorry if I've been triggering you. I've been trying to get in the habit of taking the mouse off screen, and I'm a lot better than I was, but sometimes I, sometimes I mess up. So we'll XV him, he has Orbit Destruction and Iron Shot are his two most dangerous ones. Orbit Destruction, he can get you from full screen, and that's a lot of damage. Iron shot, he has to be a bit closer. So from this far, I don't think he can iron shot us, but maybe. The point is, he needs to die ASAP, so we're going to start smiting him. You need to die Boris. Got him. And he says here, Boris says, kill me? I think not. The thing with Boris is that he never truly dies. As in, he has a chance to pop up on other floors later in the game. So we might not see him, but we might, for instance, find him wandering around elsewhere. Let's grab this last bit of gold before we go in. Let's see if we can get any goodies. Nothing there. The glowing chainmail I'm not really interested in. Ooh, a scroll of requirement. We want that. We want the enchant armor, probably. We definitely want the scroll of blinking. And then let's see what else there is. Mm, no good pole arms, no good swords. Two potions of heal wounds, we want those. There's a lot of stuff we want. What's here? There's an MR ring, costs a lot of money though. Amulet of Faith wouldn't be bad, but we don't really need it. That's about it. So maybe the, the MR ring. So. I think that was a lot of things we want to buy. I don't think we can afford all of that. Um, I think we want the MR ring 100% because we're walking around with one MR. And I definitely don't want to do Volts 5 like that. I don't want to get paralyzed on the stairs. Um, okay. Let's go. The blinking we definitely 100 million percent want. Same for the the heal wounds. Although, do we have enough? Yeah, we can do this. So we can go heal wounds. Yes, we can get the magic ring. Yep. So I'm not gonna wear it immediately because I think I'm all right on vaults one to four. 
but if I see something that's dangerous, I'll put it on. I'm also walking around my seat in this because I'm a Dumbo. And then we can get the requirement. Yes. And enchant armor. We have 75 gold left. Can we afford anything? No. Okay. We could get another idea scroll. Why not? Another teleport. We'll just use all the gold we have. Okay, I'm not buying that remove curse. We already have 21. Okay, never mind. Requirement. What do we want? Our armor is crappy. Otherwise, we'd be going for a wand. So we'd be looking for heal wounds or hasting. Uh, we have a lot of heal wounds potions now though. I think we have 11. 11. So it's not like we're in desperate need of a heal wounds wand. Our weapons are fine. We don't need weapon. I think we're going armor. Now let's see if we can't get some insane artifact body armor. Read requirement. We want armor. What do we get? Artifact chainmail. Plus eight. Blink our poison. Dex minus five. Slay plus two. So that's extra AC. Dex minus 5 is going to hurt our evasion, but then we get slay plus 2. So what are we? We're 29, 29 AC, 19 EV, and if we wear that, we are 32, 18. With 2 extra slay. So that's a pretty easy keep. Yeah, that turned out okay. But still probably rather, if we could, we've got 7 enchant armor. The second we find a um, gold dragon armor, and enchant that up. But this could actually be a good chainmail to give to someone as well if we wanted to. Although I prefer to give them weapons. Uh, error. Monster orc in stone wall. <laughs> Is that? I think that's my dude because we did have three orc warriors and a sorcerer. So somehow our one of our orc warriors is stuck in a wall. Okay, that's not... I wonder if I could recall him out, but I don't want to... I didn't actually want to find out, because I'll recall everyone else. Whoops, we're breaking the game. Let's drop that plus five chain now. Whoops. So, where are our dudes? There you are. So we lost one of our orcs to a wall. That's a new one. I don't think I've ever lost a follow to a wall before. Let's go, we've got 22 strength. I think it's almost a given now that we're not taking this hat off. So I'm just gonna go dex. Especially, we got, we got minus five dex off that um, chain mail we just put on. And someone random is calling me. It's probably a marketing call. If you can hear a buzzing in the background. There you go, this stopped. That's what that was. I need to get the email later. Never mind. These... I like all these demons that this sorcerer is just throwing out there. They're pretty nice. Scimitar of nothing. Your orc says, Dying for Bio is much better than a random rampage. I suppose. But I feel like this game is playing out in general, much like a random rampage would anyway. So I'm not really sure what point you're making orc. Orc of no name. <laughs> Come back, followers. Come back. Ooh. We got a knight. Is that. Uh, no, it's just a clean shield. The vampiric longsword is not. Um, okay. There we go. It's not something I really want. Vampiric. Oh. Okay. So I just got agonied. And this is kind of bad because we got. We've got things running at us from every direction. 
But I think we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. Oh man. All that orcs just went down. You ask, are you our savior? I don't know, man. F my followers seem to have a tendency to die, as you just did. I don't know. If I'm a savior, I'm not a very good one at the moment. Welp. Okay, so that was it for our this training run, I guess. Let's uh, find some more orcs to throw into the meat grinder. Oh, there might be some here. Oh, there's one. Okay, you can you can train up, or you can try. I'm gonna retreat him down so he doesn't just get Mystic Blast. Okay, follow me. Yay, we're getting some more followers. That dude got destroyed. If I no, I do have auto pick up one. Why am I not? Oh, because I can't chop off bodies, of course. That would be that would be a heretical action. I'm sorry, Bo. Didn't mean it. This guy's summoning more orcs. Can we get some? Can we get some more bros? Doesn't look like it. No. None of them recognize me. This was a vampire, wasn't it? Whatever it was, we got it. Vampiric broad axe. That would be very nice if I were using axes still. I'm gonna trip him up because one more ice blast and he's going down. There we go, follow me. Oh, Wolfok. Wolfok, the Orc Knight. You can have... No, you can't because I've lost all my piety. Sorry, I've been smiting too much stuff. <laughs> okay, you can soon have something. Maybe. My pack is full. Well, it would help if I could get rid of one of these weapons. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of want all these things. Well, we don't need to be carrying around two ones of teleportation now. The reason I picked up the second one is because I was afraid of the abyss, but I'm not so much now, and we have a lot of teleports anyway. It's Vault Sentinel is wielding a scythe. Let's see a Farmer Sentinel. I have a scythe, dude. I'm hitting him while he's reflecting damage, which is dumb. And the problem with being of not bothering to put my MR ring on is that I get marked all the time. Let's eat that pizza. We need our item slots. We can try this, but I know, okay, whatever. Not much is going to beat this sweet hat with double fire resistance. More ID. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Uh, we are carrying around three Q mutation scrolls. We should be playing a mutation roulette. That's one way we could get. Uh, don't die, dude. We need to get the hell out of here. That's one way we can get MR if we. Okay, you can help me now. If we mutate it. And we got Hal, we got Wolfok and Hal, the Orc Knights. Hal of, oh no, it's not 
how of how's moving castle thing. This is more like how of not moving orcish minds thing. I don't, I don't know. Just I might edit that out. That was terrible. <laughs> okay, there's bots too. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell these dudes uh, how. Did you, okay, I was gonna say, do you take offense at my stupid house moving castle joke? No, but he didn't. I'll tell them to wait here so that they're still here when I'm ready to keep doing vaults. I'm gonna find, if I can type, potion of mutation. There's one in lair. There are two in lair. Uh, these dudes are killing stuff, which is really bad. Just... Okay. Just stop killing stuff, please. Tell them to follow me. Oh, okay, so someone just got banished. <laughs> but that's alright. Was it Urog? I think Urog just got banished. But that's okay. Yeah, okay. So Urug is chilling in the abyss now. It's alright, she's not dead, she won't die. She can be recalled out. She's not gonna die while we're not there. And I don't know, even if we were there, I feel like she'd still be fine. This is why... This is why if you... I've heard that some people say Beo is basically the same god as Ured. If you believe that, this is why Beo is better. If you read... If any of your you red allies get abyssed, that's it, they're gone. You don't ever get them back, so they're just, effectively, they just die. But for Beo, you can recall them out. And that is why Beo is an objectively better god than you red. It's cloth one. Oh, sick. Okay, so this is why, this is fun. We just got Aralek. Uh, we got magical capacities low, but who cares? And we got this one, this is great. This is you evolve. So every now and then we're going to get other mutations. But there's a 70, for each mutation, there's a 75% chance for it to be a good one. And then for bad ones, if you, if you get unlucky and get bad ones, it's, there's a very high likelihood that your next evolutions will get rid of the bad ones. So having evolution is really awesome because we might end up with a whole suite of good mutations. It might also just give us, say, plus two int and then stop. With each evolution you get, there's a chance that it finishes. But we'll see. If nothing else, having RLEC is really, really good. So, mutation roulette. And we'll go back to vaults two. We'll hook up with how and uh, we're more experienced again. It means our orcs are fighting more stuff. But we've left the level, so they should be fine. So we, we grabbed one more orc warrior, and we hooked up with Hal and Wolfok, the orc knights. And I still can't give stuff. So um, I could give them weapons, except that I can't. It's very profound. <laughs> I think I need to still. I'm just saying... Some of the worst stuff ever. God, I just delete this whole episode. I think and just that's it. I'm done. <laughs>